and over to myself in the dark, eating cold food from a can with my fingers. My name is Catherine Collins. I am Catherine Collins. As if I can force the world to acknowledge my existence. Time has ceased to exist in any real terms. I'm reduced to marking up the days on the walls. Like a cavewoman. Jesus, man, what do you done to your face? It's nothing. You collecting feed? Looks like the supplies haven't been coming in. Huh. Again? The phones are all strange. I can't pinpoint the logic of transmission. You what? What are you doing with that paint? Means the EMC are actually moving at the proper speed. Listen, Frank. Have you uh, heard anything on the radio about a flu outbreak? Doesn't seem much like flu to me. They're shutting down access to the valley to try and isolate it. No, something about the phones. I can't put my finger on it quite yet. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm still talking to you. Where are you going? Hello? Hello, is there anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Stephen Appleton, are you there? Can you hear me? Over. Come on, Clive, where are you? Damn it! Kate, Kate, it's Stephen. Come in, Tau 6. Kate, are you there? Kate! Anyone? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Stephen Appleton broadcasting from within the quarantine zone. Can anybody hear me? Over. signals from the optical array. I just... I just hope I can make it. You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking great lorry of his poisoning my birds? He shouldn't be driving it on these lanes. It's a hazard. I think he was hoping he could have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give Not me... a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. No wonder I do what? No wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here. Don't what touch me. Get off. What's going on? Come in here. Lord. Jesus, Get off. over Sam. us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missus. She's better than any of you. <laughs> Sam? Meg, please. Don't, don't come near me. Meg! 
Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! Don't touch wait. me! Wait, please, you have to understand. It was an accident. Get off her! Let go, let's just go. Charlie, you have to understand. It was an accident. Just leave him. Leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, just get Charlie, out of here! Meg, Charlie, please! When I was a kid, my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. But the fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. I found him crying. I done a Ken, son. That's what he said. I done a Ken, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. Understand me, don't you? Well, there's no one left. Just me. You know what this is? What I'm gonna do? You want light? Fine. I'll give you light. After me, there's no one. You'll be all alone again. Forever. Like before. You've taken everyone I've ever loved from me. You've made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you, 